Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what I'm packing in my birth bag. I'll be packing a birth bag, not a hospital bag because I plan on giving birth in a birth center. Everything is pretty much the same as like a hospital bag. I think this will still be beneficial no matter if you're giving birth, you know, at a hospital or at a birth center. I'm going to start off with the stuff that I'm going to be bringing that's like food. So my midwives did say like bring water, like a water bottle, so I will be bringing my water bottle. But they said bring something that's like hydrating, like coconut um, water, so I will be bringing this coconut water. It's just like all natural coconut water, no additives or anything. And it's good because electrolytes um, rehydrate you. The birth center is an hour away and I'll probably be drinking it in the car, so I'm not going to put it in the bag because I plan on like probably just like bringing it. Maybe I'll put it on the side of the bag or something, but that's not going to go inside the bag right now. Another thing is I'm going to be bringing this almond butter. My midwives said don't bring like nuts because they're hard to digest and they'll like sit in your stomach and might make you like throw up or get sick. Um, so they said they suggested like um, like peanut butter or something. So I got this almond butter, this little pack. And I will be bringing like fruit because it will be watermelon season in the next month and that's when I'll be giving birth. And fruit is great to like give you energy, like quick like sugar. Um, so I will be getting Travis to like cut up a melon or something right before we leave. So that is another thing that I plan on bringing is like fruit. Some hospitals don't let you eat and they'll only let you bring like liquids. So I would definitely recommend bringing like a coconut water. Um, but I can eat at the birth center, but I don't plan on like a lot of people say like you're not really hungry. Um, like you don't really have an appetite. So I'm just bringing stuff that I know like, you know, even if I don't really have an appetite, like I'll be able to get some of this down to give me energy and also like the fruit. Like even when I don't have an appetite, I enjoy fruit. It's like super hydrating. A lot of the stuff that you bring is for after, but this is stuff for during. Like I put a pile of stuff for during. So headphones are essential. And then I have this rose, rose hip seed oil. So this is the oil I'm going to be bringing for Travis to be able to like massage me and stuff. Um, I don't know if like I'll want that, but I'm bringing it just in case. And he's just going to use like lavender essential oil that I have right here. It's organic lavender essential oil with the oil. Um, and then also this inner peace oil. So this inner peace oil is like a stress relief oil and I use it. I, I diffuse it all the time and I think I'll really like it during the birth. So I'm bringing this too. And also chapstick. I'm bringing chapstick. <laughs> I'm going to use it real quick. Um, because a lot of people say like bring chapsticks because your lips get like chapped because you're like breathing heavy and stuff. Um, so I have this mint um, chia seed oil chapstick. I really like this chapstick. Um, and it's organic and it is um, vegan. So I'll link it below. So these I'm going to put in the pocket right here, like the big pocket here. Just gonna, like all the oils and stuff like that and the chapstick and the headphones. All right, so next is stuff for me after the birth. So I have this um, Earth Mama vegan nipple butter, like the only thing different between that one, like the pink one that you see in most of the videos, um, the birth bag videos or like postpartum videos. Um, and this one is that this one's vegan and it doesn't have beeswax. So this I'm gonna be bringing, I'm gonna be bringing this Earth Mama's um, herbal spray for like down there. It's like good for right after you give birth and stuff um, to spray like on your pad that you use because you like obviously are sore and it's better than like the dermoplast because it's like natural and it has witch hazel which witch hazel is like supposed to help um, soothe down there. Yeah so this is what I'm going to bring and I know I'm going to use this for sure Not on the side the nipple butter I'll put inside. Alright um, so the next things for me are nursing pads. Um, they're reusable nursing pads, organic cotton. I'll link them below. <laughs> and I think I got them off of Amazon. I'm probably going to bring one set in the bag, um, but this is the whole set of them. So I'm also going to be bringing these reusable pads. Um, I do have like organic cotton disposable ones um, that are more bulky and I might bring one of those just in case. Um, but these are pretty bulky and like big still too. I plan on the, using the reusable ones instead of the disposable ones, but I did buy a pack of 48 disposable organic cotton ones, which I'll show you guys in my postpartum video that I think I'll do next week. Um, 
just in case I need like more absorbency or maybe at night and stuff, but I plan on taking maybe one of those and one of these or maybe just both of these. All right, and then for <laughs> the pads, I have um, these underwear. They're like high-waisted, um, comfy underwear. They're not like, I don't own any like comfy, like they're all, all the ones that I have are like cheapy or like thongs. So I had to order like a couple of these I don't remember where I got them, so I can't link them below. I think it might have been like on Target or something. So I'll pack these in there. And then the next things are for the baby. So I have these reusable, um, not reusable, <laughs> these disposable um, diapers. Uh, they're newborn diapers. I do plan on doing cloth diapering, but you don't start cloth diapering until your baby's about like eight pounds. Like the cloth diapers, um, the all-in-one cloth diapers that I got, you start at like eight pounds to like until they're potty trained. Um, but I think my baby's gonna be smaller. They said it'll probably be six to seven pounds. So I need the newborn diapers. Um, these are bamboo biodegradable diapers. So I feel good about using these. And I'll actually link the company below because it's a subscription that you like get the diapers sent to you every month, which I think is so cool. Um, it's not sponsored or anything, but like they're pretty cheap for, you know, what they are. They're bamboo and compostable. These are the diapers I'm gonna bring. I'm just gonna bring two because at the birth center, after you give birth, you stay for like four to six hours. If you need to stay longer, there's like complications you do. So yeah, I'll be bringing just two diapers and then I'll be bringing these water wipes. And the water wipes I think are the most natural. I looked into the honest wipes and they had so much ingredients still. So these are just 99.9% .9 water. And then they have a drop of food extract, which is like, I think grapefruit extract. Yeah, grapefruit seed extract. Um, so I'm bringing these. And I also will be plan on planning on using um, reusable wipes. Um, but when I'm out and about, and especially like when it's firstborn and stuff, and I'm still like getting used to everything, I won't be worried about that. So I'm gonna be using these wipes. Like, look how much room they're still in here. Next thing for the baby is I'm going to be bringing this swaddle. This is the favorite, my favorite swaddle that I have. And obviously, I want to bring the cutest swaddle because it's going to be the first pictures the baby gets. Um, so, I'm going to be bringing this swaddle. I love it. It's so cute and it's beachy. In the car seat, I'll probably, like, because I don't think you keep them swaddled, like, in the car seat. I'll probably use it as, like, a blanket or something. The second to last thing that we bring for the baby is it's going home outfit, which is so cute. It's a Sally baby um, going home outfit. They they um, actually advertise this outfit as like a going home outfit. That's why I got it. And I love this color because it's neutral because we don't know like the gender of the baby. Um, I didn't want to get anything like pink or blue because it's like so typical to like bring a newborn home like in the pink or blue outfit. So I wanted something neutral and I love the stripes. It's so cute. And it has a little like part for their hands so I won't have to like bring mittens. And it's just super comfy and lightweight. So I'll be bringing that. That's the newborn outfit. And then I will be bringing this hat. I know the midwives knit, like have knitted hats that they knitted, um, but I don't know how cute they are. So I don't know if I'll probably end up putting like this like neutral, um, hat that I think is super cute on it for pictures or um, keep the hat that like the new, I mean the midwives will bring. So I don't know which one, but I'll bring this just in case. I also have this binky that I plan on bringing. I don't know if I'm gonna use it because it'll be like four hours, five hours, six hours old. And I don't know if I like, wanna like pop a binky in their mouth, but this is the nature set in. I also have the bibs one. Um, but I think this one will be better because it's like fully rubber and doesn't have like the plastic part right here. Um, so like for a couple, for like a newborn, like literally just born, I think this one will be better because it'll be like softer on their face. Um, but I don't know which one I'll bring. Maybe I'll bring both. Um, but this is the one I think I'll bring and I don't know if I'll end up using it. Um, but bringing it anyways. So it's getting pretty full, but not really, it's not like packed. And then the next thing I'll bring is my sandals. Um, I'm gonna bring socks too, but I still don't know what I'm gonna be bringing for my going home outfit. I have a few outfits, but I don't know which one um, that I'm gonna be bringing. Cause I want something cute because it'll be like the first pictures I take with like my baby. And I know a lot of pictures will be taken. 
but at the same time I want it to be comfortable and I don't really know how I'll feel. I'll probably like decide right before um, based off of how I feel and stuff. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, look, there's still a little bit of room right here. This bag fit almost all of it. I mean, it fit all of it besides the coconut water. But this is what I plan on bringing. And I hope this helped anyone who is questioning what they should bring. Um, I think this is a good list for a hospital or um, birthing center. Um, if you're giving birth in a hospital, obviously like bring more outfits, bring more diapers. Um, but it's pretty, pretty much the same thing. And we might bring the blanket that I'm sitting on right now, but it's gonna be hot, so I don't know if we'll want it. Um, but we'll, we'll probably just put it in the car just in case. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.